Hi, it's Oreed, and today we're talking about what happens when you and your partner have gone to couples counseling and things are just not changing. Does that mean that it's over, that you're not compatible? Is it the end of the end? Not necessarily, and here's why. Because counseling, couples counseling, we often see it as a last resort. It's like, Oh, nothing's working, like things are falling apart. All right, let's go to couples counseling. And if that doesn't work, then we know, we know we're just, yeah, we need to end it. And that's wrong because I'm talking about talk couples counseling. And it's actually not the last resort because it's not the most helpful solution a lot of the time. When you experience trauma in the past, you are holding on to that trauma in your body. Unless you've accessed it, unless you've released it from your body, you are still holding it on from your body. And what that means is that those memories, those subconscious nonverbal memories and feelings are stuck in your body. Um, it means your nervous system is oversensitive and being triggered and reacting in fear responses all the time and to anything that's reminding you of your past trauma. And when you talk about um, what's bothering you, when you talk about your relationship, you're not even going beneath the surface. You're not really addressing the problem. The problem is that you're reacting in this relationship and probably your partner too, um, is that you're reacting in this relationship based off past trauma based off past hurt and you can talk about it for a long long time but probably nothing will shift because what when you're talking you're just accessing the conscious mind the verbal memories and trauma is largely stored in nonverbal memories in the body so it's pretty unfortunate that like your relationship can feel like a failure you can feel like a failure because you did this last resort, you went to couples therapy, and it's not changing anything. Um, when that's really not the case, like there are too many, too many marriages falling apart because they think they've tried everything when really, if they really got to the root of the issue, um, you know, sometimes it really doesn't work. Sometimes a couple really isn't compatible, but a lot of the times there needs to just be that, that access that release of trauma, the rewiring of your nervous system in order to actually change the patterns um, of your relationship together. So it's not the end necessarily. A lot of times it really doesn't have to be. I work with a lot of women who, when we start our work together, they are at this place where they're, they're on their last thread in the relationship and they you know, they, they don't know what else to do. They think it's probably going to be the end. And once we shift, once we access and release their trauma and shift the way that they actually show up in their relationship, a lot of times it's going from people pleasing and accommodating whatever they want to actually speaking up because a common side effect, I guess you could say of trauma of PTSD is people pleasing it's just not safe to, to own your power. It's not safe to have a choice. It's not safe to speak up. Your primal body does not believe it's safe for you to share and express your real opinion. And so it's common for you to people please and accommodate what they want. And when you build a relationship, a marriage on just accommodate, accommodating them while sacrificing your own needs, you're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna end up being happy. And when you realize that 10 years later and you're like, you know what, I really want my voice to be heard in this relationship. I want to have what I need and what I want. And you start changing the dynamic and it really shifts things, messes things up in a way. Not that it's your fault. It is awesome that you are starting to recognize that you need to come into your power and it's great. Um, but it does totally shock the dynamic, the pattern that you and your partner are used to. And so this really shifts things around. It really stirs things up. And that can bring on a whole lot of triggers because you're trying to speak up and then your partner's like, no, like this is how things are. You sit down and sit pretty kind of thing. 
I really hope your partner doesn't talk to you like that and just being dramatic, I guess. Um, but they're basically saying like, no, this is what I need and I need to get what I need because that's what I'm used to. Um, in whatever way that happens, whether that's, I'm not coming home early because you want to go to the gym. Uh, I need, I need my boy time. I need to go get out, go out and get some drinks, you know? Um, and so that trauma repeats itself in the moment because here you are trying to have some power and you are trapped. You're trapped in your home. You can't go out. You have to watch your, your kids. Um, you don't have a say in the relationship and the whole thing triggers more trauma from the past um, makes it feel really difficult. Like you're really trapped in this relationship. And the only safe thing is to get out if you don't see any improvements. So going to couples therapy and seeing that it doesn't work for you too is not the end. And what really is needs to be a higher priority is for you to resolve your past trauma because without doing that you're going to continue reacting from your primal being from your nervous system to past traumas so as much as you have that intention to um to say something different to ask for your needs in a different way to show up differently in the relationship so that you and your partner can communicate better your body will just take up over first and it'll make you feel like a failure, which you're not. But um, to talk in therapy about how you want to change things, about how you're going to do different thing, things differently, and then seeing that you can't, you can, um, it just takes some bigger work, um, makes, makes you feel like damaged goods. And it's, it sucks. Um, one of the ways that my clients recently was able to really change the dynamic in her relationship is basically saying, look, I need you to come into my world more and accommodate me more instead of me always accommodating you and your schedule. So it's, a, it's, it's not an older relationship. It's a kind of newer relationship. And that's different. Like, you know, they, they have built time that they've had together is her accommodating him all the time. And it's really shifting. And um, it's really changing the way she can see if he's going to be able to show up for her. So it's even better when you can do this from the beginning, from the start. Um, but if you are like 20 years into your marriage, it's, it's okay. It's still, it's still not the end. Um, when I help my clients be more in their power, be more direct and learning that through their body and learning that it's safe to be that they are really pleasantly surprised. One of my clients last week was telling her partner about, um, a business venture that she was going forward with and everything's fine. Everything's fine. Like, he was okay with it because of the way she really brought it to him and this beautiful balanced way of this is what I'm going to do. And this is how I need you to get on board, but being really calm while saying it. And it's like a very, you know, it's, you need to release your trauma in order to come from that assertive, powerful, but calm place. So not in that um, kind of fight or fight place, but in that activated yet cool, calm, nervous system collected place. So don't give up, you know, don't give up if you've tried couples counseling and it's not working and you really feel like, oh, I really thought that would work because you're on to something, but you do need to take care of your own trauma first. And if that's something that you want to talk about together, I'm happy to meet with you and do a free relationship review with you. It's 30 minutes long. There's no obligation to work with me. And um, it's really, really powerful to identify how your past trauma is stuck in your body, how it's creating these really stuck patterns in your relationship and blocking your relationship from thriving and what you can do to really get to a place where your dynamics have shifted. There's more connection, deeper connection, more sex. Like that's a huge that's a commonly huge problem that it's like, there is no physical intimacy, sexual intimacy at all. 
um, and just having this greater, deeper connection. And sometimes, um, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't have to take years and years of therapy. Um, it just pains me to see that people spend their entire lives in therapy when it doesn't have to take that long. And the problem is that you need to go deeper. Um, talking about it just keeps you where you're at most of the time, if not blocks you even more. And you need to go deeper into those body memories of trauma and release them. And, um, and then there can be change. Then you can unlock your potential for deeper connection and for um, really feeling and sharing that love in your relationship. So if you're interested in having that free review, then where, wherever you're watching, it could be the link could be above, below, or to the side. And until then, click on the link, and I can't wait to meet with you. And until then, I can't wait to see you move. Bye.